Hi there, welcome back to Stellaris Snail Wars, where we make the galaxy safe again with our little snails, the Nautiloids. Um, we're in a situation where around us everything's revo- Ooh! I just wanted to tell you about the war in heaven and the unbidden that you see here. Something has happened, a small team from our colony on Nautilon's rebirth. That's the- I think that's the tomb planet? recently boarded a primitive space station that had been left in the orbit by the planet's original inhabitants. The mummified remains of the station's crew could still be found clustered around viewports facing the planet. They must have realized they were doomed after seeing the billowing mushroom clouds below, and communication logs shows that the astronauts made several futile and increasingly frantic attempts to contact the surface before they eventually ran out of supplies. The station is in good condition though, and it has afforded our engineers a rare glimpse of the early stages of a planetary space program. They have gained several ideas from the primitive, yet ingenious solutions used in the station's design. A small message from Nautilon. 150 engineering research. Very nice. And we have completed now the research of sentient combat simulations. Let's see. Running sentient AIs through high-intensity combat simulations yields valuable insight into potential optimizations for risk evaluation techniques. Yeah, it seems to combine some elements. So it's very good combat computers now. Let's see, what shall we go for next to make the galaxy safe again and prosperous, maybe? Go for interlinked support systems. The plasma accelerators. I think that's the next stage from... Ah, uh, I don't know what. Yeah. Oh, uh, neutronium ore. Hmm. That would certainly make us safe again, but I think... Yeah. Do we have a specialist for any of these? So it would be computing, particles or materials. No one? All right. I think the best would be neutronium ore, because if we have neutronium ore, that will make a, a huge impact here. Let's go for that. We have garanthium ore, terraforming liquids, and aurelium ore, and thro. Our ships are much better now. Have a look at Nautilon's freedom again. How is the growth? Uh, the size is 17. We produce 15. This means after we've produced this, we don't need um, any farms anymore on this planet. Like at all. <laughs> that will be good. And then together with the toxic kelp removal, Nautilon's freedom will indeed be a great research planet. Really great. Neutronium extraction. Very nice. Yeah, this is the triumph over rage. <laughs> historical um, victory over the Rangerians. They're all enslaved now and safe. This is Nautilon's rebirth, the tomb world where we found um, the tomb world where we found our construction complete. Our station here. Let's see. What have we researched now? I think the toxic kelp. Yeah. Specialized drones can mechanically clear vast swaths of toxic kelp with minimal use of biocides. That's good. I see. The droids are already helping. What will we go for next? Uh, energy siphon? No. Let's see. Synthetic sort patterns. 
Uh, would that be good? Edict cost, resettlement cost? Not really. Hmm. Soil enrichment, the climate restoration. Can transform two worlds. That would be nice, but like, I have no clue. So we're going for the cheapest that is useful. I think frequency tuning um, is obsolete. So we're going for the synthetic thought patterns. It will help some. Not too much, maybe, but will it, it will help. Do we have some specialists going for that? Nope. Let's continue. Construction complete. Nice, so the spaceport is doing what it can. And let's go for the observatory right away. Are we researching anything yet? No. We could spare that and go for synchronized defenses first and then for the spaceport upgrade and then uh, for the observatory. Would probably be a good idea to do it like that. Yeah, surface construction is ready. Soon, soon another nautiloid will be here. And then, hmm, and then what? Let's see. Probably going for some. Uh, I mean, these tiles, at least these two, should really not be for anything other than what we can get adjacency bonuses with. Because they have effectively plus two minerals. If you build a mineral there, then that is, is that. So I think we're going to build like a mineral station here or uh, I mean it's a research planet we could also start with research here uh, let's do that let's let's start with a science lab here the next one will hopefully spawn at the science lab Ah, yeah, it's a long long way to make the galaxy safe again. And we don't know who does what. And you, hey, Lavis Mediators, how's your war going? War score of two. <laughs> and the assembly of Gox Dominions is losing. But against whom are they losing? I don't even know. We all don't even know. Let's have a look at the Unbidden. Oh, have you seen that? There was some kind of empire here before. That had been eaten up, right? Ah, that's dangerous. Very dangerous indeed. Now they have a border with the Galactic Stars of the Stars. A really big border. I mean, they're far away still. But that might change here. Complete. And up there. We have improved our space fort. Now we can go for the observatory. Yeah, five. That's that's really good food. And you go over here. We need instant research. We can already start um, going for kelp removals here. Maybe first for the research parts, as we want this to be a research planet. We 
which means it might be good to also overbuild some of these with research stations but not the plus two ones they are too too good the plus one things will be uh, so to say correct so what do we need most let's have a look Construction. Um, we need physics most probably so let's go improve the physics we have So, <laughs> yeah, now that the whole universe is in a deadlock, what wars do the Kalaxinans have? They have a war against, yeah, against the Labors, but against no one else. And they might start a war against us because they have asked us to be their thrall and we, we just said no because being a thrall has like no positives for you it's just they won't attack you and that's the only positive thing about it other things are all annoying <laughs> or costly or whatever you want <laughs> well, let's see hmm. oh 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 space roaches have ended their rivalry with a t human hierarchy Uh, we have a defensive pact still. Let's hope that our genocide ability isn't too hard. And there's metas and lolendras in here now. Who? hope they will not join the condign pack this might be a first uh, move of them to join the condign pact we could attack them ah. they are now associated traitors <laughs> ah we cannot do anything yet Let's see, they are too strong. They have too strong defensive pacts with the United MOOC Foundation. Mm, and that wouldn't be too strong, by the way. But now. <laughs> oh, ah. We should have struck them earlier. Let's see, what's, what's going on here? Why is there a fleet of these guys here. Let's see. Are they battling each other? No. And what war do you have with the Levis Mediators? No. With the Levis Forerunners, I think. The Mediators. And uh, not the Wall. Oh, God. So, no wars anymore. And you have to talk with them for association status. Um, I think we have no chance in hell. Maybe we'll, we'll just join these peace lovers. And then <laughs> dominate the universe with them. <laughs> uh, for peace. Nautilus Freedom has finished surface construction. Nice. So now, um, what would be good now? Uh, let's actually remove all that kelp. I think that's a good thing. Let's also have a look here. Yeah, they are pretty old. Anna Makarov. Hmm. 
I mean, we could give Guo Tan the chance to learn something before he dies. But maybe rather take Anna Makarov. Mm. Or just Gabriela Ruiz. That would be good. There we go. And Suhiri. Is that okay now? Yeah, it's okay with the food surplus. Look at that. It's all very good. Slightly less minerals, but will grow a lot quicker. Nice going. And we'll learn so much. Um, the cost. Clear blocker time. Should we cancel that? Yes. Maybe, what is the time here now? No, we need to cancel that. All of that. Let's cancel it. And then let's redo it to, to gain the, the positive time influence. Right? Let's start with that. Finished in 82. And it's also less costly, strangely. Ah, ah it's, it's shown wrong. It costs us 100, but it uses... Uh, it is 82 time that it needs. Ah, but you pay 100. All right. I mean, I don't need to understand, but... <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> That's going to be crazy. Nautilus Freedom has finished its surface construction queue. Yeah, not really. We're full, full in the queue. And we we might need more science ships. If I mean Nautilus Freedom will make a really good research planet and we'll use that. Oh, there's, oh, we have got the synthetic thought patterns done soon. Very nice. Let's see. One month remaining. Ooh. Now. Come on. Now? Research Not yet. Complete. Now. Let's see. What does that mean for us? Thinking outside the box merely places you in another somewhat larger box. So now we're in the larger box. Very good to know. What next? Um, I mean, it's <laughs> that would be the logical choice, but we are we're going for the will to power, because that is Nautilon's choice. It's a rare technology, and we really have the will to power. We have an orbital mind control laser, just to be sure. Commissar squads doing good damage and being cheap. Art of building a success successful society. Yeah, let's let's go for the will to power. There we go. Our will to power is endless. As Nautilon deserves it. So with this will to power, <laughs> let's end the episode here and uh, yeah, happy gaming to you. Let's make the galaxy safe again with our will to power next time. In Snail Wars, this is Emmanuel Kahn signing out, wishing you happy gaming.